Hello, this is Alex on Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the third week of June. Kakao Webtoon steals first place from Naver in Thailand and Taiwan at launch. Kakao Entertainment announced on June 11th that it took the top spot in the industry as soon as it launched the global webtoon platform, Kakao Webtoon, in the Thailand and Taiwan markets. According to Kakao Entertainment, Kakao Webtoon was launched on June 7th in Thailand and ranked first in the comics category on Google Play and second in the entertainment category on the Apple App Store. When it launched in Taiwan on June 9th, it ranked first in the comics category and sixth in the entertainment category after Netflix. How the foreign users think about the UX and UI or user experience and user interface of Kakao Webtoon, which was introduced globally first, is also noteworthy. Kakao Webtoon received high scores on Google Play, 4.6 in Thailand and 4.85 in Taiwan. Ijin Su, co-CEO of Kakao Entertainment said, the successful launch of Kakao Webtoon in Thailand and Taiwan after launches in Korea, Japan and the US is a remarkable achievement made by the combination of the super IP portfolio, unparalleled IPX and complete localization. Seeing the reaction in Thailand and Taiwan, we gained confidence in globally launching Kakao Webtoon, which will happen worldwide this year. I think Kakao Webtoon will become a new reference point for Webtoons in the global market and create a great sensation. Next up, Nexon Vice President wants to make a new word for game. Kim Dae-hwan, Vice President of Nexon and one of the more recognized names in the gaming industry, said on June 9th that now is the time to come up with a word that replaces game. Let's make a new word that refers to the digital play service together. In the keynote speech at the Nexon Developers Conference, or the NDC, held online that day, Vice President Kim said 20 years ago, game was merely a hobby enjoyed by some. Now it has become a means of leisure for everyone through smartphones, the handheld computers, the idle games that you play by just turning the game on, video play by using cameras like TikTok and Zwift that lets you compete with users around the world as exercising with the indoor bikes are all crumbling down the barrier of what we call games. Vice President Kim, who oversees Nexon's game development, said it is looking to incorporate a new user experience, UX, into the game, such as adding game advertisements at desired points in the game, or commanding an assault with actions rather than words, like an ancient war general. Our next story for this week, 5G convergence service test beds in Pangyo, Daejeon, Gwangju, and Daegu. To spread the superior 5G convergence services, which the public can experience, the government is actively working on building four test beds in Pangyo, Daejeon, Gwangju, and Daegu, stimulating the 5G development. The Ministry of Science and ICT, or MSIT, announced on the morning of June 10th that Vice Minister Jo Kyung-sik visited the 5G test bed located at the Pangyo Business Support Hub and inspected the site. This is to create a convergence service which the public can feel by creating superior value in 5G and to build a competitive 5G industrial ecosystem by supporting the development of 5G convergence services for SMEs. Currently, the MSIT has built 3.5 GHz and 28 GHz 5G base stations and test facilities in Daejeon, Gwangju, and Daegu, in addition to Pangyo. And from here, it is supporting the development of 5G devices, equipment, and service technologies. Daegu and Gwangju are managed by the Electronics and Telecommunications Research Institute, Pangyo by Telecommunications Technology Association, and Daegu by the Daegu Techno Park. In the test beds, development for devices and service and testing and verification are conducted. Technical support and consulting are conducted before launching them in the market for more complete products. Also by cooperating with the Telecommunications Technology Association, accredited tests and test reports can be issued in one place to improve convenience.
And for our final big story today, Gyeonggi Content Agency operates Gyeonggi Start Pangyo. The Pangyo Gyeonggi Cultural Creative Hub, the agency operated by Gyeonggi Content Agency, announced on June 9th that it will recruit content startups to participate in the Gyeonggi Start Pangyo Acceleration Program until June 21st. Gyeonggi Start Pangyo is a public-private partnership content startup fostering program that discovers and fosters promising content startup companies in the province through partnerships with professional accelerators. In this session of Gyeonggi Start Pangyo, a specialized program by two accelerators will run with the Next Lab Startup Research and Gold Arc Spark Lab paired as partners. The companies allowed to enter this program are cultural and convergence content startups located or soon to be located in Gyeonggi-do with less than seven years in operation. 24 startups, 12 companies per accelerator, will be selected. Startups selected through the final screening will receive close support from partner accelerators and commercialization funding, 10 million won per company for about six months. Also, these promising companies can receive support benefits such as direct and linked investment and mentoring from accelerators. Startups wishing to participate in the program can apply after selecting one of the acceleration programs based on their business characteristics. And finally, to wrap it up, quick news bites for the week. Startup support MOU signed between Korea Exchange and GBSA. On June 10th, the Korea Exchange and the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, GBSA, signed a business agreement to support M&A and startup revitalization for startups located in Gyeonggi-do. Next up on our short stories for the week, Kakao Mobility to introduce Tesla Model X Taxi. According to one source, Kakao Mobility will be adding Tesla cars to its luxury taxi brand Kakao T Venti in start operation this month. The Tesla Model X to be introduced this time is said to be the most luxurious model among the Tesla models at 130 million won. It is also equipped with autonomous driving functions. And finally, on the sixth anniversary of the founding of D2SF, we see a growth of 1.3 trillion won in total enterprise value. At Neighbor Service Meetup held on June 8th, Yang Sang Hwan, leader of Neighbor's D2SF, said D2SF has led technology startups to grow in cooperation with Neighbor over the past six years and has established itself as an investor and partner who best understands technology startups. He added, particularly technology startups quickly prove their value and their growth potential, which was recognized through the rigorous technical verification and active exchanges of neighbor staff. And that's it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alex Sigrist. We'll see you next week.